like I said, I hate when the cameras do this and color change and all this can't see me shit. Um, I've been away for a few days. I, I try to take some time away. And I leave for a reason. And um, when I come back, you know, sometimes I'm blindsided by racial shit. I notice when I do more than X amount of videos in a row, I ain't going to tell you the number, by, I say by the second or third day with those six or seven videos I do or will more, all of a sudden I start getting hate. When I'm on a roll, all of a sudden the racist stuff pops up and people want to question me on race and am I a legitimate contender for being a real human being and it's like, you know, I'm on YouTube not to be questioned not to be tested and not to be challenged. I'm on YouTube to speak my feelings, speak and, and, and report on what I see and, and report on how I feel about our world. And that's what YouTube is for, you to report on our world from your perspective on what you see. You're a racist. If a lot of white America sees black on black crime, it's because they watch the news. If a lot of white America sees drug use and people needing help, it's because they're in tune with the people around them. They don't just look at it, all oh, these black people, all oh, these white people, oh. real people don't see color. They see people, they see hurt, they see help they see need, they see fixing it, and they see moving forward. They don't see all this crap. Oh, he's a nigger. Oh, the white guy. Somebody wanted me to comment on the young lady getting beat down in front of the Cracker Barrel. The name of the place is Cracker Barrel. Oh, another thing. When you use Windows Internet Explorer, I be hearing shit clicking, all kind of fucked up shit. That's the clicking that you might have heard, because I got the Internet Explorer on at the same time. Um, somebody named hmm, Jean's Take has invited me to be a friend. She just changed her page on YouTube. Then I couldn't find it when um, I went to go let this lady be my friend. Oh, oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Who's oh, offense? Let's see what happens. Hmm. Bing. What the hell is Bing? Okay. Let me get back up here and copy this. Copy. Close that. I cannot use Windows Internet Explorer. Shit is. Then when you close it. There you go. The bullshit is all man. Every time I use Windows Internet Explorer, I got problems. Okay, let me get back to my video. So I'm constantly hit with, you know, I do several videos. I do. I talk about everything. And right now, I'm going to switch gears again on this video. I feel sorry for white people. I'm just going to go out there and say that. I feel sorry for white people. It's because the handful of white people that understand what really is going on is overshadowed by the fanatical white people who believe that, you know, the world should be theirs. Not all white people think like that. Not all white people have that mentality. And not all white people want to see those people run rampant through the streets. But a lot of white people won't help these people. They're upset, they're hurt, they're distraught, and they're blind through the slavery in which they participated in throughout their entire lives. Somebody left a comment on one of my videos that white people are the biggest slaves on the planet. They are. And like I said, those people out there struggling who know the truth, they don't hate black people. They don't hate nobody. 
because they understand we're all in the same boat. What they call it, a melting pot? What do you want to melt people down for? What do you want to blend and melt people together for? We're millions of different flavors. Everybody tastes different. Feel me? But they want to put us in a melting pot. You look at the, the philosophy of when you melt gold, you change the shape and the form of the gold. You might start out with a block and you melt it down into a liquid. Once it's a liquidy goose, you can form it in anything you want to. Why are we in a melting pot in America? You know what they said? They used to say when there was troubles in America, the melting pot is boiling over. No. We're being melted down into one kind of person. One controllable entity that can be controlled. Shit, maybe by remote control. Look at all these movies about mind control that are coming out. Gamer. The surrogate. Come on, man. Think about yourself as an individual that wants the best for you and your family. But you have to take it one step further. If me and my family living good and everybody around me look, live, living toe up and life is all bad, where are they going to come get it when they want it? They're going to come get it from you. If you got it and they need it, they're going to come get it. And if everybody around you is broke down and you high side and ride and nose all up in the air, you the first target. And it comes from inside. Because nowadays... You know, what did the young man tell me? She. It's better to rob somebody you know because you already know what they got. How can we live when our youth have that mentality? How can anybody strive to want to be a better person, not just for them and their family, but for the people around them, if that is the status quo? Do the Gaflin game. Be a grifter. Hustle. You gotta put your muscle down. Squeeze it out of them. That mentality is overflowing in the American streets. And that mentality in itself has no color. When people say black people are violent, we were enslaved. We've only been out of slavery less than 100 years. And the mentality is get it before they get you. We've been taught to be savages like those Indians remember Indians that was peaceful enough to feed those people when they were starving those Indians were savages you understand what I'm saying we're here to melt into something that we're not and in the process those who mean well by others fall to the wayside side of the road when the idiots, the assholes, the fanatics, the alcoholics, the crackheads, the dope fiends, the cranksters, and the gangsters, the gangbangers, and everybody who want to do something negative roam the streets. What's up, baby? Mm-hmm. Map quest, and where are you going? All right. Well, I got to go. Map quest, going on a trip. See you.